Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Greetings, greetings fellow countrymen and women. Um, Thank you for joining this broadcast. The, the information that I have in this broadcast relating to the ongoing kidnappings is very, very, very important. And I want you to share this uh, broadcast as much as possible because you could forward this information or you could alert somebody whose life we can save. At the moment, as you know, we are still, or police and the other agencies are still looking for the missing mobile money agents namely Pamela and Faith. Uh, Faith has been missing for over 37 days now, and Pamela has been missing for over 12 days now. Little breakthrough has been made by the police, but the only thing that we know at the moment, the only thing, uh, the little breakthrough that has been there is that uh, the phone that belonged to Pamela was found, and uh, it's in the custody of the police, and the police are pursuing and continuing um, with their investigations. I think we should give uh, kudos and credit to the police. It shows us that at least they are doing something, and they are not just uh, sitting on their laurels, but are actually actively pursuing this thing. And we can only wish them uh, the best in the investigations as we or as citizens also chip in to help them because remember only yesterday the police uh, spokesperson Ray Hamonga did call for help from the citizens at large and he rightly so because at the end of the day the issues of uh, such magnitude such as kidnappings affect everyone so every one of us must chip in to help the police in any possible way that we can so please let's stay alert and let's keep updating each other on the situation on the ground as regards these kidnappings now this particular broadcast is an alert it's what you'd call a red alert in other countries security agencies always issue a red alert whenever something of um, a big magnitude or something that threatens the peace and security of the nation is happening they are always issuing red alerts Unfortunately, here in Zambia, we have never dealt with issues such as terrorism. We are only beginning to grapple with issues of kidnapping. So, our security agencies don't know that uh, when things like this happen, you have to issue a red alert so that you can make those people that do not know about what is happening aware to say there is a threat on mobile money operators in this particular case. So, we know something, we have learned something about uh, these criminals who are now terrorizing because that's, this is now an issue of terrorism. Let's call it what it is. This is now terrorism. The population is terrorized. Mobile money agents are living in fear. And uh, we've been updated that as of yesterday, as of yesterday, there were two successful kidnappings, which fortunately, the people that were kidnapped or the mobile operators that were kidnapped, I think uh, two were two ladies from Chilanga and there is uh, one young man from uh, North Mid. They were kidnapped uh, a day after the other and they were released on the same day fortunately of course their money was stolen their phones were stolen and i believe that these cases have been reported so this shows what i was talking about remember i was saying that if this issue is not pursued vigorously with the energy attention resource it deserves we are going to see a rise in the number of cases of kidnappings of mobile money agents and remember it's not just mobile money agents because at the end of the day such a trend can escalate it will now move away from mobile money agency and they will start targeting ordinary citizens now and putting our families at ransom. That's the danger of letting such a, a criminal activities spiral out of control. And I can tell you right now, I think he, police is now on in overdrive now with the accumulating number of such cases. That's why it's important, it's very, very important that you listen to me carefully on this advice that I'm going to give regarding our sisters and brothers who are making a living from mobile money booths. Sisters and brothers in mobile money booths, in as much as it's the responsibility of the Zambia police and the other law enforcement agency to protect our lives and property, you also have a role to play. You must have what we call standard operating procedures because what is now happening is that these criminals are, 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 are very they are, they are very clever 
They are very ingenious. They are coming up with ways of kidnapping people whereby you won't even know to say that you are being kidnapped. Let me give you kid, uh, two examples. We know from the previous interview of um, the sister to the missing faith that uh, when her sister was kidnapped, the story is that when her sister was kidnapped, the husband to the sister or the husband to faith did call faith trying to find out where she was. A certain gentleman, I won't even call him a gentleman, the criminal on the other end of the phone, the one who was holding uh, uh, faith's phone, answered and said, this is Mr. Zulu, we are investigating something. We are going to. Have you listened to that statement? He said, he answered, the criminal answered when he was called by the husband to, to, the, to the kidnapped and still missing faith. He said, this is Mr. Zulu, we are investigating something. We are going to. And this is, these are the exact words of faith, sister. So that gives you a clue that he, faith was picked up in a way that nobody around her could have suspected. Because you know these boots, there is competition, eh? They are clustered very close together. So you can't abduct somebody by force when there are people uh, around. And that was in broad daylight. Huh? It what was in, in broad daylight. That is how it happened. That is how faith was picked. She was picked by people or criminals that pretended to be police officers. And it's very easy because, you know, in mobile money transactions, there are all sorts of scandals which happen. All sorts of scandals which happen. People have lost money through scandals through mobile. So when police, if you, you were to be approached by people that seemingly look to be police officers and say, oh, Iwe Jones, there's a matter that has been reported to police, somebody that has reported that as a mobile money uh, agent, you have stolen so much money, you have been accused of such a case concerning money. You'll be stunned and you'll be shocked. And uh, you call up, you cooperate. Most likely, you're not going to resist arrest. You cooperate. Say, anyway, if I'm innocent, what do I have to fear? Let me go with these officers. This is what happened to Faith. She was quietly and easily taken in that way. Quietly and easily taken in that way. That is how she was taken. And this story again ties in with the, another piece uh, of, uh, of, of information. With another piece of information. Okay? This piece of information which we have is that there was one person, there was one person who usually comes in and out of, of Lusaka. The day that they were picking uh, Pamela, Pamela appeared to be confused. According to him, to say, he, he saw her being uh, uh, moved from one vehicle to another. And she looked very worried. That was the description. So from the time Pamela was picked from her booth and taken to wherever she was taken, she did not resist. And uh, there was somebody that even spotted and said, I saw her on the very day that she was being picked when she was missing. She appeared to be worried. That tells you to say that uh, she was not picked at gunpoint. She was given a story and the story is most likely that these people pretended to be police officers. That is how they are operating. Because they know very few people, very few Zambians are going to resist being uh, picked up if people identify themselves as police officers. And you know, police officers, you have uniformed police officers and you have who? Plain clothed. Uh, you have plain clothed police officers and uniformed police officers. So, if somebody comes and produces an ID and IDs are easy to forge, that's why it is very risky in this country to just follow anybody who identifies themselves as I'm a police officer, you follow them or do what they're telling you. It is becoming risky because uniforms can be stolen. These criminals have got, have got police uniforms. How many times have you seen criminals committing crime in police uniform? In police uniform. So that is how they are operating. They are pretending to be police officers. So my caution and my warning my caution and my warning to our brothers and sisters who are operating in mobile booths, including mobile booth owners, is that please don't step out of your booth and follow anybody for any reason. Please do not step out of your booth and follow anybody for any reason that they may give you. Even if they say we are police officers that are investigating something, we have come to pick you in relation to this case. Scream! Scream for help just there and then. That is what you should do. Just scream for help there and then. We have reached at a point. If there are real police officers, these are of so goal. But people around you must know that there is something that is happening. Because if you just go quietly, 
we will miss you, we will lose you. And we can't stop people saying, no, Valani wants my, my, my automatic boats. Because most of us, we are depending on that service. It's a very, very useful service. It saves us time and money. I can't remember the last time I transacted in a bank. I'm not even interested in opening bank accounts anymore because I'm well served with these mobile money boots. I can withdraw money or deposit money or send money at any point where I am. Within my 100 meters of where I am, wherever I am, I'm able to transact. So we can't tell people to say, close down this business. They are going to start starving, we induce poverty, and that will be another problem. As it is now, we have enough jobless youths around. What we must do is put in standard operating procedures. And this is now up to the Mobile Operators Association of Zambia. I met, I think I met the, the President and the Secretary General uh, on the day which I, when I took a letter to the Inspector General of Police. I met them and I think we are going to have uh, conclusive meetings uh, this week so that we can come up with uh, uh, standard operating procedures for mobile both operators. You are handling money and anywhere where you are handling money, you are always going to attract criminal, criminals. But you have to have what you call safety and standard operating procedures. Every bank, I've worked in a bank before, in a bank, before you even join, they will drill you in security protocol. They will drill you in security protocol. So these mobile booths, you have become mini banks. That's why now they have become targets. So you must have standard operating security protocols. And that's why I'm saying, please, don't go with anybody that comes to approach you and says, we are police officers. Because I'm telling you now, I've given you the narrative of the of the family to, to Pamela and the faith, how they, these uh, uh, young women disappeared. They disappeared quietly, they were picked quietly, nobody suspected anything. The, the thing that we are learning is that these people are using uh, fake identities as uh, police officers to pick and suspecting people. That's what they are doing. That is one way. The other way, and we learned this from... Uh, the yesterday's attempted kidnapping. Yesterday there was an attempted kidnapping of uh, one young lady along Kafio Road near Cosmopolitan Mall in Osaka. How did it happen? A smart shot, a smart shot man, a light in complexion, comes out of a Toyota Allion, goes to this booth and approaches the young lady. And here's the story that he gives her. He tells her that he has got a boss who wants to establish a number of boots and therefore he wants uh, people that are experienced in mobile money transaction to help them train and establish their mobile boots. And he offers a very lucrative cut, something like 250 per transaction or something like that. I don't know how mobile money works, how you get your commissions. But he offered her a commission that was so attractive, so attractive, so irresistible. Here is a man, very well dressed, maybe even handsome. Eh, ladies, don't just uh, look at somebody who's looking smart and handsome and think they, 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 they are not criminals. The best suspected criminals are handsome, well looking, well dressed, well mannered criminals. So you can't tell somebody, somebody's a criminal just by looking at them. So you have to be very aware and security conscious. And thankfully, because of these uh, uh, live uh, videos and the press publicity that this matter has been given, almost everyone, I hope almost every mobile booth operator knows about it. And that's why I'm saying, please share this video, share this video, so that it reaches all the mobile booth operators. Thankfully, this lady heard about the kidnappings. And she just came out and said, hey, wait a minute. I'm not going with you because this young man, this man, short, light man, said, let's go together. We meet my boss so that we can discuss things. Eh? So this young man said, hey, haven't you heard that people, are, mobile booth operators are being kidnapped? No, I'm not coming. I'm not coming with you. Sorry. This man was startled and just went back in the car where they were in the Toyota Arion. And the lady, very, very conscious, I think she came out. She wanted to pick the vehicle or identify them. And she did. The moment they just, they just saw her coming out of the booth, they sped off in that Toyota Arion. Silver gray in color. So these criminals are driving. Don't think criminals just walk, criminals are poor. Some of these criminals have got very, very luxurious vehicles. They will come with a BMW, Mercedes Benz, and you think, hey, they're here where I'm working. Hey, I'm suffering. I think these people have come with a business proposal are going to help me. My young lady, my sister, your life is more precious than any lucrative deal any businessman so-called businessman can come to propose at your booth be careful don't step out of your booth for any reason so all in all those are some of the tactics 
that these kidnappers are using. They are posing as police officers, and I've told you, if anybody comes at your booth, says we are police officers, we are investigating, don't step, the first thing that you do, don't ask to say, show me your ID, ah, ah. they will show you an ID. They think ahead. The first thing that you do is scream. Scream and alert your neighbors. And this brings me to one of the standard operating procedures which you must have, or security protocols. Don't have an isolated booth, please. I've seen some booths whereby Kaliche Keka Pakona. Eh? You are just alone. I know it is competitive, booths are very close together. Maybe the further away you go from your friends, maybe you make a little bit more commission. I know that is the edge, but it's now becoming risky. Don't put your booth in an isolated place. Because there you can easily be over overpowered, you can be bundled in a in a in a vehicle. And you know how our C5 operates, eh? People will see that happening and they'll just say, hey, Kapena ni C5 ya pangamlandu yu mundu. So, we don't, we don't uh, work, work fa or think fast as citizens sometimes when some of these things are happening. And all your neighbors, eh? this brings us, today is Sunday. Eh, the Bible says, be your neighbor's keeper. Watch out for your neighbor. Watch out for your neighbor. Even you yourself who is in the booth, just scream for help. Somebody says I'm a police officer, just, just scream for help. Just say, ah, Mafuna, they want to kidnap, to kidnap me. If it's genuine, they will, we will, we will, they will know around, people will know around. They say, oh, if it's genuine, TN wants it, the police can't. If it's fake, they will bot. So please, take care of yourselves. We need you alive. Don't go with anybody who pretends, or comes with, say, I'm a police officer, or comes with a business story. They will come with business stories. So, we might not know other tactics that they can use. But the thing, and the bottom line, is don't step out of your booth for any reason whatsoever. Even if they say, hey, Jesus has come. Jesus has come. Come, let's go. We take you. you see, just say, uh-uh. I'm not going. Don't step out of your booth for any reason. So, these kidnappings have continued. Uh, over the past one week, there have been three reported cases of successful kidnappings. And when I say successful, it means these mobile agents were kidnapped, they were taken to far-flung locations, their money was taken, and their phones were taken. But thankfully, their lives were spared. Let's not take it for granted to say, oh, they, they are being released, because we have two people that are missing. Huh? We have Pamela Tsupe and we have Faith Mwiloti. We are still looking. We are still looking for them. We have not given up on them. The police have not given up on them. Those are the worst and most shocking cases or extents to which this scourge of kidnapping has gone. People are missing. So we want to find those people and we, we have to find those. And police are on their toes now. I think a lot of people have intervened and they have seen to say, ah, let's step up our action on these particular matters. And we will continue we will continue to move you to, to alert you we will continue to share with you some of these issues so please share this video save a life save a life i wish there was a way in which we could do issue an alert to every mobile agent because i know some mobile agents they are not on facebook they use the small phones the, everyone has to know everyone has to know we want to make it so difficult so difficult so difficult for these uh, imposters, people, these uh, criminals who are impo impersonating uh, police officers, impersonating uh, businessmen, and tricking, tricking young ladies. Tricking young ladies, and even, you know, their primary target is young ladies. Tricking them into coming with them. The way they are being kidnapped, they are not being kidnapped at gunpoint. They are not being forced out of the booths. They are going willingly. So if these people are going willingly and quietly, that tells you to say there is a story which they are being sold which is believable and they are falling for it so i'm saying don't believe any story that anyone comes with you even if a white man comes to you no matter how handsome no matter how well dressed no matter the, the vehicle that they are driving don't buy any story don't buy any story that you are given as a mobile booth operator for you to step out of your booth that zone is should be a, 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 a no go out zone when you are in there stay there Anybody tries to trick you out of there, treat them as a kidnapper. Even if they are a police officer, they have identified themselves. Treat them as a kidnapper and scream, call for help around you. Which brings me to my final point. Don't have your boots in isolation. There are some of you mobile money agency. 
you report at six before there is anyone around you you are there alone that is a risk don't make sure you always operate in a cluster what do i mean you must have at least three four boots where you are and make sure to say the time you are reporting other people are reporting and you are together even when you are knocking off knock off together don't knock off who you want hey, oh, you want some some mobile booth operators i know we want to make money you want to go as far as 20 hours quite all right you can go as 20 hours as long as there are people around you and when you are leaving be very security conscious because these people know that you are carrying money be very security conscious make sure your bosses they hire trusted vehicles or taxis for you they hire trusted vehicles don't just jump onto any bus don't just jump into any taxi remember the first issue i dealt with as counselor here in kamala was about the kidnappings of people on buses on a public public bus it comes it parks you are not suspecting you just jump on it cash those are criminals who are there so be very security conscious don't if you're a mobile money operator you can be taken from anywhere they can even take you before you even enter your gate if you knock off very late so have trusted people quite well learned nowadays there is young i mean for your own safety if you're knocking off late Use these services and have one particular trusted drive. I know that with the Ulendo, I don't think anybody can try anything because of the security features of the drivers and the baiting that takes place there. But always have a trusted taxi driver who is known. And make sure to say people know where which taxi driver you're getting on. If he's on a bus, make sure people know which bus you are on. I always say it to say, always text it, always be security conscious. Take note of number plates, take note of vehicles, and make sure at any given point, somebody knows where you are, they know what time you are leaving, your workplace, they know what time you are supposed to arrive. All this is important for your own safety. So thank you very much for tuning in. Please share, share, share this video. And remember, tell your neighbor, tell your sister, tell your mother, tell your brother, tell your friends that these kidnappers are pretending to be police officers plain clothed police officers but they might even come in uniform to convince you they might even show you ids so when you see them scream don't trust anybody don't trust anybody officer or not they are also coming as businessmen very smartly dressed driving expensive uh, vehicles these are criminals these are criminals don't buy any story they offer you know we are looking for five airtel money money agency we are going to train them we are even going to take you for a workshop we'll give you a very nice job we are offering you triple or double what you are getting here no amount of money is worth your life my sister be security conscious and god bless thank you all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.